Hello, Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Nice to see you again. Um, different place to film in today. I'm speaking to you from our caravan. I told you we were going away for a few days, but I brought a few bits with me to do some crafting. So I'll just show you what I brought with me and then we'll do a little bit. You've actually missed a whole video that I've just made and uh, talked to you for three quarters of an hour and didn't film you. I thought I'd switch the button on, but obviously I didn't. So here's hoping. Not the first time I've done it. So I've brought with me my scraps box. I have brought an awful lot. I've brought with me the little ephemera folder that I'm trying to empty. It looks at the minute like it's filling up, but I am using stuff out of it, I promise. The little box of things that I was using to make the clusters with for Tanya's um, from Tatty Treasure and Friends. No. It wasn't Tanya Tatty for Treasure YouTube uh, making the embellishments, cluster embellishments, and I did a, a video with you. And I've just brought a handful of ephemera, not a lot. So a few pockets, a few tags, tags from kits that need using up, um, pockets that I've made and not embellished, etc. And I brought with me a naked journal that I believe I made the cover with you. It, it was when I did um, napkin. Yeah, making a cover with napkin on music paper so you can see the music paper through there so i just put um a journal a signature inside it from papers that i had so it's not a particular kit there's a few papers that are digital there's a few from books etc so i'll go through it and then i'll show you quickly the things that we did together while you weren't being here watching me <laughs> okay so um that's from a book that's Janie B and Roxy, that's Roxy Creations, Janie B, uh, that's from a book, an atlas obviously. Um, this pocket we made together when I wasn't filming. So there's room there and room there. We, um, it was made, we embellished it, decorated it I should say together. Um, and you'll have to excuse the noise because it sounds like it's decided to the caravan owner has decided he's going to stream around the caravans so if it gets too bad I'll turn it off but we'll try and get some done um, before he gets too near so that I made that when I made the page to put in the journal it was something that I watched on um, I think it was Rachel and Bella crafts where she sews one page onto another and creates um, tuck spots so obviously there's sewing in the back on the back. I don't mind it. I don't dislike the sewing. I thought I might put something in the middle just to cover the bit where it splits the page in half. So maybe a pocket or something uh, there that can be left to be seen. So a doily. So this is shabby dabby doo da. Excuse the glue all over my hands. I've been gluing already. This is another pocket that we did together. I'm so sorry um, that we embellished together. So I uh, layered up and put on some fabrics and some embellishments and a tab top and we put that in so it's been made slightly wonky donkey at the bottom so I put it in nice and straight at the side and we're going to put some lace across the bottom and nobody will ever know and that's just a tuck spot and I've built it evenly okay I was showing you the papers weren't I weren't I wasn't I um, Janie B Journals, Shabby Dabby Doo Dab. This is a page from uh, Laura Ashley book where um, I made it into a centre pocket. It's just distracting me with that. Let me just see if I can close the window two seconds and uh, it might get quieter. I doubt it, but. That was just easier than turning the camera on and off again. He is getting quite loud. So I'll just carry on and finish the video and then if it's awful, the noise is awful, I'll, uh, I won't i will upload it, unfortunately. So we'll try and ignore him. So the back is exactly the same as the front, obviously. So we've got another tuck spot there. Again, we'll have lace at the bottom to match the front. This was a pocket that we, it was already made that one. We just put that one in so you didn't miss too much there. I think you might have seen that on my clean, tidy my desk out. Um, so that's the other side of the uh, pocket that I made on Rachel Bella Crafts. And it's 
So like it's got a tuck spot there and there. And this one's slightly different in as much as you can tuck a little thing. Oh look, we've got a little flower fairy there. Something like that in it, perhaps something bigger. Yep, that won't be staying in, but I'll leave them in there for now. And then the back one, which has got the two pockets. But we haven't um, got tags for them yet, so we might make some tags in the next video for that. Yep, so that's the... That kit from Roxy Creations is um, antique letters. Really versatile for all sorts of things. And the back of my book page. Okay, so the few bits that I've got with me, I separated into tags. Some of them need embellishing. And pockets and envelopes, I think. So these were from the kits that needed using up. Uh, from happiness in crafting with GI. I always say GI, her name's G. It's spelt GI, G, Kerr. Okay, so more tags from kits, Janie B kits. A couple of tags I've made. That's from a Janie B kit, a couple of German cards. So here's another envelope that I wanted to put in. Two there, two there. Oh, no, they're not envelopes, shall we call them by the proper names today? They're pockets, a couple of pockets I'd like to put in. That's an envelope. There's another pocket and these are all just um, journal cards. That's a little wallet. That's a G-Kerr kit as well. And the bits inside it, the little bits of ephemera are from a lilac kit by Nanine at Collage Type. Okay, so let's see if we can get these few pockets in. It looks like it is going to be a short video because uh, Sounds like he's here to stay. So which ones shall we go for next? Um, let's go for these two. So it looks like they're made out of the same paper. Slightly different pockets because that's got something. Is it? I think you should be open. Yes, you should. So that's got a little one down there. I've obviously chosen some tags for that one and this one I haven't at the moment. So yeah, all right, I've done a... So that's obviously going to go on the page in three and one behind and one in front. Like that and then one behind there. So let's find somewhere to put these two. So I was saying last video to myself um, how these pages are so gorgeous I don't want to cover them up too much but there are other pages that can be covered so let's have a look. If we get um, all these pockets in in this video hopefully and then next video I can come on and we'll make some tags and fill them. Okay so we're nearly at the middle weren't we? So that's quite plain there. So they both go the same way, so I'll have the bigger one in this. Which side do we want it? There with the blue against the, yeah, I think so. I think I like that one on that side. Okay, so it probably does want something on the front though to embellish it. Um, and I'm just putting it on three sides, aren't I? So it's kind of, the journal is sort of mainly blues Perhaps some, uh, what would you call them, aquamarine green colours. Get some like blue, pop me blue. Excuse me. Um, and what? Are there any lilac y? Some pinky lilacs, but very faint. Mostly blues. Very pastel y colours. There's some greens, wasn't there? So. Let's see if we can get something just to put on the bottom of this envelope that ties in. I must remember to talk up because I haven't brought my microphone. So no microphone and no tripod with me. So you are stood on my table on a chair propped up with some books. <laughs> so I hope you've got a decent enough view. Sound, shame about the sound because uh, I've noticed with a microphone you hear me and not the sounds around. But I didn't intend filming, so I didn't bring it. Okay, so we had some little embellishments in here from the filming. From the filming. From the... Uh, no, they're all big. Where is my little... That's what I'm looking for. Um, I love those. That's such a pretty... I think it's meant to be Christmassy. I'm sure it came out of a Christmassy book, but it doesn't look Christmassy. But stop getting distracted by the pretties, Denise. It's not what you're looking for. Parisian ticket. Um, still got that tree creeper. I'm sure you've seen that in a different video. Some mm. 
circular. So let's come in here again. Butterflies. No, no pink butterfly. I mean, they're pink. I don't really want a pink one, do I? Well, there's a butterfly tea card. I might pop that in one of the. Um, right, let's cut that down. In one of the tiny pockets that we've got to fill. Love a tea card. Brook Bond tea. Well, tea and coffee. I'll put that on as a pocket. That's a good idea. There's that ink. And we can maybe just have that little tree creeper stuck in there. I could always back him. Oh, good. I like it when something different pops into my head. Let's not overdo that. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. That uh, this ticket says 50. I don't know what's Parisian francs, would it be? Maybe cents? I don't know. Rats to cave. I don't know what that. No clue what that means. There you go. Look. Maybe we could just stick that on. Oh no, because that's a that is a pocket, isn't it? Well, we could put it on the side there. Let's see, that's another piece used up. And another pretty in the journal. Yeah, quite like that pink rose as well. It just lends a bit of something to it. What do I do with that tiny piece of cloth that I'm dabbing with? I'm thinking now that's down. I should have inked around it. Never mind. Right, let's see while it's there and open if we've got any tags for that. Um, envelopes. Oh, there's a flower fairy look. Do her colours go, do we think? Oh, and she's peeping out quite nice. I think if I round the corners and I ink her with a bit of dark walnut stain, she might be just the ticket. Can't resist a flower fairy, as you know. Yeah, I like her. She's definitely staying in there. So I'm not going to back that little um, bird at the moment, but I will. I will put some backing on it and uh, um, just say that's not big enough, is it? Now, put some backing on it and make it into a little tiny journal spot but there is a place behind her for something to go in isn't there? I think they might be a bit too wide. Okay what else have we got? That's a nice tall one. Oh too wide. That's from uh, Edith Holden. Too big. Actually it might not be if I cut it across there because that's where the Edith Holden page finishes more like a bookmark really isn't it but it is backed so you could journal on it i just like that little flower there want to stand out behind yes i like that yes i like it and you probably can't it's not standing out from all the junk that's around put the lid back on the ink or it'll dry up that's it and the glue. Where did the glue lid go? See, I'm not naturally tidy. I'll have to work at it. Okay. Yeah, pleased with that. So, what else did we have pocket wise to go in this one? Oh, those tags are very similar colours as well, even though they're not going together. And that's not staying in there. Will that butterfly card go in? Oh, it will. Um, right, so we want it on the white, there, they are fairly close together. I'm going to put that one down entirely, so I'm going to use the Pritt stick on it. The back of it is beautiful, look. That's home book and treasures paper. Shame to glue it down, never mind. 
I'll have to print some more off, won't I? I really do need to print off some digitals because I haven't printed for a long time, which is why I've got no scraps, particularly digital scraps, because I've been working on the Edith Holden folio and before that I've been working on the Flower Fairies, so neither of them had very many digitals, if any. I love that penguin. Oh, it's not a penguin. Yeah, he is a penguin. He just needs a bit of ink around him. Oh, that's the dark one. It's gone a bit... Oh, never mind. It's grungy now. There's the lighter one. That's better. I love him just poking out of there. I think that's why I put him in in the first place. And this butterfly is... By Richard Ward. High brown fertility. Uh, fertility? Fritillary. <laughs> Not much difference. Fritillary. Caught you. Yeah. That maybe needs something up here on the page. Oops. That's from the. Um, The same kit from Nanine, the lilacs kit. Got anything else? No. The thing about not having too much with you, you've got to use what you've got as well. That was a good move. Um, I'm not sure, so I'm going to leave it. I might try it again tomorrow with something. Um, definitely want something up there. I'm just not sure what. Maybe need to sit and go through all my bits and pieces. Okay, so let's see if we've got anything ready made to go in these corner pieces. They want quite a bigish. So that's off a scrapbooking uh, pad. Need something big. I don't dislike that. Mm. I mean, I bet this would go, but of course it won't go. I've only got one of them. Yeah, it's nice. Oops. I'll put it in another table. Yeah. That's a completely white background. Let's just give it a little bit of an edge. So, I need to find something for the front one. I love that. So, we've got these kit ones, but they're not big enough. We've got that's big, that's quite tall. Yes, yeah, definitely too tall, that one. I mean, we could put an envelope in it, doesn't have to be a... That looks quite nice, actually, in there. An envelope and, if it wants something with it. What else did we have over here? little blue one that matches the colour matches all the other no I don't like it in there though hmm don't dislike that yeah I mean we're going to make some tags with what bits we've got with us so we might we might change it out but for now we'll leave those two in Oops. okay so I'd like to just say thank you to everybody who subscribed I'm now up to 115 and if you are watching me you haven't subscribed um, you haven't uh, joined the giveaway the subscription giveaway um, and you fancy some uh, flower fairy papers or some Edith Holden ephemera pop over and have a look at the giveaway video um, I'd absolutely love to have you as a subscriber it's a lovely lovely community everybody's so kind so thank you for those of you that comment regularly I love chatting with you so you know keep commenting I'll keep chatting and um, I'll be back with you tomorrow. Thanks ever so much. Have a lovely day, everybody. Bye-bye.